Stress Physiology, The Real Symptoms of Diabetes That We Misunderstood. Hi, everyone. This is Real Easy Med Terms. In this session, we will learn about Stress Physiology, The Real Symptoms of Diabetes That We Misunderstood, Chapter 3. The Cause of Fatty Liver in Diabetic Patients. 3. The Cause of Fatty Liver in Diabetic Patients. Another problem that arises when fat is used as the main energy source instead of glucose, is visceral fat. Fat has to be stored in fat cells, and these fat cells need to be in adipose tissue. Normal adipose tissue is located between the skin and the muscles, the muscles and the muscles, and the intestines and the intestines. Healthy people store fat in fat cells, so when they gain weight, the subcutaneous fat, which is located between their skin and muscles, becomes thicker. But, diabetic patients not only break down fat in fat cells and use it as energy, but also convert glucose into fat and store it in muscle cells and cells of other organs instead of fat cells. It is presumed that the reason why diabetic patients store fat instead of glycogen in their muscle cells is because they use fatty acids as their main energy source instead of glucose. Originally, muscle cells should store glycogen made of glucose, but muscle cells in diabetic patients with insulin resistance may not be able to store glycogen in their muscle cells because they cannot absorb glucose. As a result of diabetic patients converting glucose into triglycerides and storing them in cells other than fat cells, triglycerides are accumulated not only in muscle cells but also in the cells of organs throughout the body. As such, fat cannot be stored in fat cells and is stored in cells of muscles, liver, heart or blood vessels is called ectopic fat. Ectopic means, being out of place, or, having an abnormal position. When ectopic fat accumulates in the heart and blood vessels, cardiovascular disease occurs, and when ectopic fat accumulates in the liver, it causes fatty liver. Ectopic fat also accumulates in the brain, pancreas, and kidneys, causing various problems. In this class, we learned that diabetic patients cannot convert glucose into glycogen and store it in cells because they cannot absorb glucose due to insulin resistance. And we learned that diabetics store fatty acids in cells by converting them into triglycerides, thereby accumulating ectopic fats in each tissue and organ of the human body. In the next lesson, we'll learn why we shouldn't reduce carbohydrate intake and increase intake of fat and protein. This is Real Easy Med Terms. Have a great day. See you again.